Hey everyone, I hope we're all doing well. So today we are going to make a very quick and simple video on some resources I found on Offensive Security's website. And I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some people that are studying for the OSCP that didn't know about this. So let me just show you. If you come to help.offensive-security.com, uh, you'll find uh, many articles and many posts here. But if you come here to penetration testing with Kali Linux, which is the course for the OSCP, and you click on it, you'll find some very, very interesting articles. And I found these by luck because I was just reading some facts for uh, the new exam and the new uh, lab report and all of that. And I just came up with these two articles here. First, uh, the Pen 200 Labs Learning Path. And then I found these here, the Machine Hints. And I found this to be very interesting. I didn't know about this, um, to be honest. And the first one, which is the Pen 200 Labs Machine, uh, Labs Learning Path, I'm sorry. Um, here they are just telling you how important it is to practice uh, and to use their labs, which is great. But if you come here, uh, at the end of the page, you'll find this. And this is very interesting. So let me just scroll down to one of the most well-known machines within labs, which is Alice. Um, Alice is the very first machine that you will find in the public domain of the labs. And here, yeah, you have the IP, that's great. The name, the difficulty, yeah, that's all great. But then look at this. They are telling you which modules you have to study in order to root this machine. They are also telling you uh, which services are going to be vulnerable and then they just give you this walkthrough of the machine. It's, it's crazy, I didn't know about this. This is great. If you're like stuck in the labs, if you're just sign up for the OSCP, you just finished the course materials and you just started working on the labs and you're not going anywhere, you were like trying harder for four hours and zero progress. Well, this is great. Now you have something that will help you start. And yeah, so they are giving you hints for 11 machines, I, I think. And you can look at them here. But then the other thing that I wanted to show you, uh, which is this article here, machine hints, they are giving you hints to other machines. You can find Alice here as well. So you, we can open Alice. Um, they are actually giving you some hints for initial enumeration to get a shell uh, you don't need to do privilege escalation of this one uh, spoiler alert uh, it's not a spoiler they actually tell you that so yeah um they tell you that here on the machine uh, on the learning path let me just show you to make sure i'm not giving you any information i shouldn't yeah no privilege escalation is necessary okay this is public information okay but i want to finish uh by saying this if you look at it with some attention you'll find out that they are actually giving you hints to some machines uh, that are not on the other article so here let's take a look at the machines so alpha beta alice uh, disco uh, suzy hotline uh, chris Mailman, um, Shore, Sean, Bethany, yeah, and that's it. And now, if you look at uh, this article here for the machine hints, uh, Ghost was not there, uh, Shen was, uh, Mail, I think it was as well, Master was not, Gamma was not, uh, Bob was not, Phoenix was not. So, there's a lot of hints here for other machines. So, you can use this to help you with your lab report, you can use this if you're stuck. You, of course, also have uh, the student forums, but this is also great. So I hope this might be useful for some of you. And yeah, that's why I decided to share this with you. Uh, maybe everyone knows about this, maybe not. But if there's just one person that didn't knew about this, well, that makes it worth it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.